So, Mister, I'm leaving for the day. Okay. Yeah, I'll continue. Okay. Uh, let's get started. So, shuru karna se pehle, I just want to reiterate few things. Uh, have you tried uh, the things that we discussed last time? Let me share my screen, and then from there we can continue. Okay. Let me know once you are able to see my screen. Yep. Are you able to see the screen? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, so I hope sabhi logo ne ye step follow ki hogi. Uh, jaise ki GitHub me sign karna, project repository create karna. Uh, Git Ignome readme license file create karna, tail branch or feature branch create karna. Um, then you must have installed the VS Code or PyCharm aapke system or already hoga. Uh, Git Bash download kiya hoga, repository clone kiya hoga. Have all done the till the step five? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Who has issue in creating these things? Anybody has an issue? Uh, you can raise your hand if you have any issue. Nay. Kisi ne ye path step follow ki nahi hai? Okay, uh, Neha, do you have issue or you, you are remaining to complete these steps? So, sir, we, I did that, but actually I mistakenly heard or something. Oh, okay. Uh, so, anybody who has not done till the step 5 or has an issue till the step 5, Okay, I heard the silence. So it means everybody is able to do that. Um, so next step six, which is creating the clone of repository, then creating a feature branch, and then adding these files and using the git add, commit, and push to the remote branch. And probably just let's stop here. Does everybody has followed the steps six, seven, eight. Yes, sir. And yes, sir. the reverse question, anybody has issue in the step six, seven, and eight? No, sir. And um, frankly, be frank, if you see अगर आपको इशू है तो बोल सकते हैं कि सर मेरे सिस्टम में गिट बैश इंस्टॉल नहीं हुआ या फिर सर आई हैव इशू लॉग इन स्क्रीन नहीं आया या आई वाज नॉट एबल टू पुश इट टू द डेव ब्रांच इफ यू और एनीबॉडी हैज फेस एन इशू एंड दे हैव रिजॉल्व द इशू Okay, silence means everybody, all the 70 or 80 people had done this step. I assume that. And please, ab batai agar aapko issue hai. So tell me uh, so that we can work together. Okay, we are, hum log ye kyu rahe? because we want to earn money, we want to get the job. Agar aap yehi pe stuck ho jai, it's last step, right? Up the Kapne 10, 12, B, uh, diploma, B, MCA, BCA, Abitak Padaiki, but Firbi job name Milta or you're getting difficulty in getting the job, right? This is the last chance, Jahape Apko, you are learning to get the job, not to pass the exam. Abitak Apne Padaikia just to pass the exam. 
नॉट टू गेट अ जॉब दिस इज द लास्ट स्टेप जहां पे आप जॉब करने के लिए पैसा कमाने के लिए सीख रहे हैं सो यू आर इन्वेस्टिंग जस्ट लाइक इन्वेस्टिंग इन स्टॉक मार्केट यू आर इन्वेस्टिंग टू गेट अ रिटर्न अभी तक आपने जस्ट यू आर स्पेंडिंग द मनी यू आर नॉट एक्सपेक्टिंग द रिटर्न दिस इज द लास्ट चांस वेयर यू आर इन्वेस्टिंग टू अर्न द मनी तो अगर आपको इश्यू है तो बताइए Are you sure you don't have issue in the step six, seven, eight? Should I assume yes? Yes, sir. It, okay. Thank you. Okay. Now we are moving to the step nine, where uh we install WSL. I think in most of the system nowadays. Subsystem for Windows, uh, subsystem Linux for Windows is already there. Uh, Windows subsystem for Linux is already there, uh, and you can easily install the Ubuntu uh, to get the subsystem run on Ubuntu. So that is not an issue. Anybody has an issue in doing this thing? i expect probably few people may have issue here maybe uh, the ubuntu is not downloaded or still pending we understand maybe aisa ho sakta hai ki logo ko samajh mein aaya but time nahi mila karne ka ye ho sakta hai ya to fir sir download nahi hua hai download network nahi tha but hum kar sakte hai maybe ye situation ho sakta hai step 9 mein ya yeah, i will be surprised ki sab All eighty logo ne kar liya hai. I will be surprised if that the case. I will be very happy. Kisi ka nine step pending hai. Okay. Ah, uh, two, three, four. Okay. Eight. Anyone? Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Okay. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four. Any more? Twenty-five. Okay, any anyone else who has not done, and that's fine, right? Ah, ye junior KG, senior KG class nahi hai. Jaha pe agar apne nahi kiya, to I will punish. It's it's twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine. Any any more? Okay, so around I feel twenty eight to thirty people who has not done the step. Um. Okay. So now I just want to tell you one very important thing. Uh. Now you are grown up. You are maybe. Twenty five plus or maybe twenty plus, most of you. So there is a term called responsible citizens. So what it means is that now you are grown up, you take your responsibilities. Uh, it's not like a kid ki arey ye kyun nahi kiya. So if you don't have answer, just answer it. Yes, I miss it or I. 
don't feel uh, guilty about it don't feel shy about it don't feel afraid about it so if you have not done yes not done if you have done it yes you did it be a transparent so organization it's very 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 important to be a transparent it's not like that ki uh if you are hiding it's it's not a crime first of all don't be shy about it but agar nahi hai to nahi hai doesn't matter right be a transparent to others always always be hello. a transparent hello sir yes uh frankly speaking uh, i have completed till the step 5 uh mm-hmm. yet my from the step 6 uh my work is pending okay yeah that's fine so the reason is that if you don't say it you are not loyal to yourself and aise choti choti so kya hota hai hame aadat pad jata hai so i'll give you one example if suppose aap traffic mein stuck hai aur kisi ne aapko phone kiya kitna time lagega you will say um maybe 10 minute or you know actually it may take 30 minutes ab aisa nahi ki aap jhoot bolna chahte but subconsciously you say ha 10 minute mein pahunch raha hu 5 minute mein pahunch raha and that becomes the habit and then you shy away uh from the truth and as you shy away you neglect the truth to wo habit ban jata hai and which is very dangerous be a transparent not to, to yourself first be a transparent to yourself first and if you be a transparent to yourself you will feel ki uh, confident first of all you yourself feel confident jab maine ye sawal pucha sab log are maine to nahi kiya baaki logon ne kiya hoga so everybody is think jo 25 log hai 30 log hai everybody might be thinking are maine nahi kiya main kaise bolu ki nahi kiya it's okay it's okay to and it's not a jaise you are not going to punish you are not going to get uh, anything out of it ki guilty ya fir aapko fine baithega doesn't wo hone wala nahi hai so if you be loyal to yourself and then you will gain a confidence ki ha maine ye kiya hai so i am confident maine ye nahi kiya but maine ye bola because mujhe ye issue tha ya fir maine ye nahi kiya because mujhe time nahi mila maine ye nahi kiya because i was concentrating on yourself on top of that agar aap bolo ki maine ye nahi kiya because maine itna importance nahi diya that is also fine uski wajah se kya hoga ki aapko pata chalega are i should have done that because this is important to me so that's the we call it responsibility you are taking the responsibility and you are becoming a responsible citizen right so be transparent always first to yourself ab baki logo ke sath maybe you may take time or something but first be responsible transparent to yourself first राइट right? मेरा एक दोस्त था इंजीनियरिंग में तो हम एग्जाम देके आते थे तो पीपल यूज्ड टू से अरे मैंने इतना अटेम्प्ट किया इतना लिखा आई विल गेट दिस मेनी मार्क्स सो फर्स्ट आई डिडंट नो हिम एंड वो आने के बाद बोलता है अरे दो मार्क्स का छूट गया मैंने 98 का अटेम्प्ट किया आई वाज वेरी सरप्राइज कि अरे ही इज सो टैलेंटेड दैट ही कैन गेट 98 मार्क्स एंड जब रिजल्ट सामने आया ही गॉट फोर्टी एट राइट वाई ऐसा क्यों हुआ बिकॉज ही इज नॉट लॉयल टू हिमसेल्फ यस उसने नाइनटी एट का अटेम्प्ट किया बट हाउ मच इज ही कॉन्फिडेंट दैट ही विल गेट अ फुल मार्क्स ही इज जस्ट निग्लेक्टिंग दैट ट्रूथ कि हाँ मैंने नाइनटी एट का लिखा बट एक्चुअल में हाउ मच कॉन्फिडेंट कि मुझे कितने मार्क्स मिलेंगे सो ऑलवेज बी confident and transparent to yourself ki maine 98 ka attempt kiya but i'm sure all 98 are not correct usne to kuch number likha tha given data usko bhi he was saying attempted if it's a 16 mark problem who is going to give him 16 marks for just writing uh, the given data right no one so he should be transparent ki are ha maine given data likha hai probably if someone kisi ke mercy se probably i'll get a one marks 
संदन काउंट लाइफ पे सो मार्जिन की हाँ मुझे पचास से साठ मार्क्स मिल सकते हैं एंड देन इफ ही गॉट फोर्टी एट दैट्स ओके बट बी आर ट्रांसपेरेंट टू अवर सेल्फ फर्स्ट एंड बी आर रिस्पॉन्सिबल एंड देन तो शॉक नहीं होगा अननेसरी एक्सपेक्टेशन अगर उसने बोला कि मुझे 98 का अटेम्प किया है 98 मिलने चाहिए यू आर सेटिंग अ रॉन्ग एक्सपेक्टेशन टू योर सेल्फ अगर आप बोलोगे कि हाँ मैंने ये क्लास कर दिया मैंने छह महीने आठ महीने क्लास किया एंड नाउ आई शुड गेट अ जॉब मुझे इंटरव्यू कॉल नहीं आ रहे इंटरव्यू कॉल आ रहे बट सिलेक्शन नहीं हो रहा है नहीं होगा इफ यू आर नॉट ट्रांसपेरेंट टू यूर सेल्फ कि हाँ मैंने क्लास कंप्लीट किया टेस्ट सब दिए टेस्ट में मुझे अच्छे मार्क्स थे एंड देन आई प्रिपेयर मॉक इंटरव्यू एंड देन आई एम एक्सपेक्टिंग फॉर जॉब दैट्स अ राइट एक्सपेक्टेशन यू विल नॉट गेट अ जॉब जस्ट टू अटेंड द क्लास फिजिकली प्रेजेंट होने से आपको मार्क्स जॉब नहीं मिलेगा यू हैव टू पुट अफर्ट्स a conscious effort a transparent effort and have a responsibility and then you'll easily easily get a job and the word easily comes after this not before okay so be honest to yourself first okay thank you for uh, raising the hand okay now uh, i think how many has this is the nine or 10 step is very important important in the sense complex i would say and i would be very happy if you have done this the vault and stored the credentials to the vault and nine or uh, sorry 10th or 11 aapne kiya hai to excellent excellent it's not required for your job but it's it's i would say a subsidiary if you have done it that's excellent anybody has done the step uh, 10 and 11 yes sir yes sir yes sir yes sir okay. yes sir yes sir and uh, have you created the app role and using app role i mean role id and secret id you are able to store or retrieve the whole uh, credentials Yes, yes, sir. Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. yes sir yes sir yes sir yes sir excellent excellent and uh, i i expect here people most of people have not done because probably people are stuck above steps and not reached to it or maybe it is complex for some people but jinhone nahi kiya hai i would recommend try first yourself or i don't think it takes more than 30 minutes जस्ट गिव टाइम क्लॉक लगा लो थर्टी मिनट का थर्टी मिनट में मुझे ये करना ही है दैट्स इट वेदर यू रीच फिनिश इट और नॉट डजेंट मैटर तीस मिनट में आप फिनिश कर पाओगे या नहीं वो अलग चीज है बट सेट अ क्लॉक फॉर थर्टी मिनट्स एंड देन ट्राई इट इफ यू इवन हाफ डन दैट्स ओके देन आफ्टर दैट यू कैन जस्ट वर्क ऑन नेक्स्ट थर्टी मिनट and finish it or ask for help the best way is ask for help jinhone kiya hai unse bolo ki mujhe batao and then done then uske baad it will be never a problem for you okay i will recommend to complete this to anybody has question here i think three hand are raised no question uh Shanda Kiran, do you have any question? Okay, I think no. Okay, once you complete this eleven step, I think the next thing we worked on, uh, the connecting to EMR with credentials fetching from Vault. and connecting to the snowflake anybody tried that one yes sir yes sir okay yes, yes sir. sir yes sir yes sir excellent so now you know you fetch the credentials and uh, i hope you use the utilities that we created correct yes sir yes sir yes sir yes sir yes sir okay great
sir mm-hmm. is it a uh, vault uh, means uh, you can say what is a te- vault is a temporary storage of data means whenever we log out and then again log in uh, to the vault it mm-hmm. automatically deleted the uh, which we have saved already so is it necessary to create every time new credential and new password no no nahi no, store karta hai it stores it uh, it does not so let me open that so it does not uh, it stores the credentials so jaise i'm sharing my screen so i have vault at cd right i'm starting the ser- service uh... exe sir I got the URL for vault. I'm going to open the URL. Fetch the key, root key. I'm logging with the token. and you can see these are the secrets we store oh it's got clear nahi wo store karta hai no sir yahi yes, problem aa raha hai you get the same thing it stores the secret actually sir is it depend on that uh, command what we had passed while creating app rule like that there is a 40 hour mentioning 4 hours is it depend on that no no not that one uh it should keep the secrets it should keep the secrets okay and i have used that uh, it does not delete because in the past when i created it would it was persisting the secrets that we created okay i'll give you a solution for this to keep it uh, probably the last batch or previous batches i used the not the latest version i don't know if they have changed it or had some settings but it it you in the dev mode also you can preserve the secrets that's a good catch I'll, I'll update you and send you instruction to keep that secret uh, wherever even if you relaunch uh, the vault okay it persists the data uh, there must be some setting that we need to set hello yes um, sorry to interrupt you sir uh, so i have a question that we while creating a role id and secret id we pass there the ttl max and the ttl is equal to 2 hour, 1 hour and 4 hours so mm-hmm. what is the use of that means uh, we didn't yeah. uh the ttl is time to leave so how much time that credential will leave otherwise it will time out basically right and then so it is for role id or secret id that we are generated is it like that no it's for connection and other thing so time to you probably what we'll do uh, it's okay to set that uh, credentials it it basically is setting a session for us right and then it will time out what we will do is first we will we don't want our credentials or stored here to be wipe out right 
for token id and uh, secret id that we use the ttl is different thing uh, it's not related to cleaning the all the credentials right so we'll see that uh, how we can persist it that's a different thing okay okay sir but uh, what is the use of that ttl means uh, i didn't get the use of that ttl we are passing four hours or six hours the max ttl as a yeah uh, it is time to leave ttl is time to leave uh, so if suppose we created that token uh, or if we created the secret uh, how long yeah. it we are fetching that... role id and secret id from that com those commands correct so how long it should be used that's what that ttl is for how long it should be live and the renew and after that it get renew renew the token after some ttl if let's say i have a time to leave is 10 hours or 5 hours or 6 hours we have to renew that we can remove that but it doesn't directly relate to clean up these credentials secrets secrets and that role id and secret id cleaning is two different things it will if i say ttl for role id and secret id to be two hours it should not clean the secrets it it will disable the access to the secret but it should not it will not clean up the secrets okay so uh, I'll tell you, so there is, there must be some configuration uh, in the vault, which will keep the credentials forever for us. Maybe somewhere in the config or some config we need to pass while we, we are doing. Uh, so these are the environment variable it's passing. Somewhere we need to set this so that it can uh, persist it. Yeah, you can see the recovery mode. It's a false. So this mode should be turned on. So recovery means when it starts, uh, we can uh, let, let's solution find the solution for this. Okay, so recovery vault, create vault in recovery mode. That's what we are trying to do. Just a minute, I'm trying to find out the solution and I'm looking at the documentation from uh, the Hashikov vault and here I'm searching at uh, Or we can look at the tutorial libraries or uh, vault.
Yeah, we can run with uh, storage file mode, listeners. Okay, let's see uh, the our vault is running right now. I'll open this one. And here we'll just see the recovery mode. Let me restart it, okay? I'm going to stop it. I have a command prompt. I'll go to cd.
Reloading loading configuration from from volt server is still create five volt system cannot find the file specified uh, just a minute i'm going to create this file on this directory vault E workspace okay i'm going to create the configuration file and specify the recovery mode there uh vault And in this HCL file, so I created this file. I will add the configurations to it. So the configurations. So I added this information for TCP, the port and everything. I'm going to keep it same. I can even change the port number if I want. Uh, and storage file for this. Um, let me see if I can use. This path. I'm just trying. Let's see. Okay. Now let's run this with the HCL file in a dev mode. If you want to run, we can run in a dev mode. Okay, I think there is an error in config file. Let's see. Mm. 
what's the error error says it in loading configuration from this at 10 24 line number 10 and column number 24 so line number 10 is this one and 24 here it's, it's Okay, vault server started and it is persisting the data recovery mode, I think still, but storage is file right now. It's going to stay stores in the file. And let's check it if it's able to run right now. Okay, just a minute. Uh, Let's give some time. I'll send the instructions here to have this file, the data store, as well as uh, persist all the credentials that we create. Okay. Uh, probably I just need to um, make the all the add parameter, all parameters for configuration so that you don't face this issue. And I'm just reading a documentation. I'm not adding anything else. Uh, it is mentioned in the document uh, from where it should run so i'm just adding those parameter necessary parameters in the configuration file so that we can persist those parameters why it's taking time not sure why okay let me start in the another mode
I think I introduced an error. Let me see. I can remove the config and just start the normal one. Default config. It started, but it is not in the storage file. Okay, I'll research on this and add the configuration parameter to percent list. Okay. Is that okay? Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. sir. Okay. Now going back to the list of activities. Uh is it a blocker for you right now and not able to proceed? Is it a blocker for you? Is is it blocking? Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, we last time uh, ek aur cheez dekhi thi, which one related to the architecture. So, uh, I'm going to just go over the architecture and explain it or if you want to add any other components to it, we can add. This is the last architecture diagram we saw. And let me open from my local from browser so that Okay, this is the one we saw last time. Okay. Uh, no, no, this was not the one. Why? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I hope up look ye retail data like architecture ye refer kare, not this one, right? Not this one. Are you sure? Are you using this retail data like architecture? Should I move this to the front so that you can use it? Save changes. So every time once it's open, you use this one. Okay. So now ye architecture may, do you have any question? Anybody looked at this architecture and studied it? What are the components being used? Anybody has question? No, yes. Can you be, can you, anybody talk? Uh, hello. Yes. Sir, actually uh, we, are, we didn't get the last recording. So it is not possible to go through the mm -hmm. uh, concept of the Power BI and all those things that you studied in last recording. Like. Okay, so uh, I think I mm -hmm. shared this link with you and again, it is on the Git. So if you go to the feature branch uh, or even in the dev branch, this diagram is already there. So you just need to open it in the docs folder. You will see this diagram the draw.io just open it and you can study this one 
सो ये आर्किटेक्चर समझ में आए क्या क्या कर रहे हैं हम लोग सो पॉइंट ऑफ सेल्स डेटा जो मेन फ्रेम में है वो काफका से एस थ्री बकेट पे ले रहे हैं हिस्टोरिकल डेटा ले रहे हैं ओरेकल से इन्वेंट्री डेटा ले रहे हैं then we have a customer master which is also we are getting via sftp then we have product catalog jo mysql mein we are also getting that one we have a survey data we are using a web services we are also getting it too then we are using lambda or glue jobs to refine the data after refinement happens we are using emr to load the data in transform zone Uh, and after that we are using again a emr to create a data warehouse a snowflake data warehouse uh, and then we are using feature stores from emr we are loading data to the feature store in redshift and then we are using ml models that features we are using in the ml models uh, and for reporting we are using power bi uh, we are using rds which stores the information about job control kaun sa job kab execute hoga pass hua ya fail hua all that activity so this is high level architecture of it and we are using athena for ad hoc queries uh, and other stuffs we have a airflow uh, which is as a orchestration tool so this is the architecture that we are using uh, in our project so what i want uh, what are the action items from today's um, session is first the one action item on me to create a config file and share the document with you which can store the credentials or secrets that we have used it's fine if we are it's changing its um, uh, root key every time you start but it should persist the data that it has so credit credentials should be persisted i'll give you that configuration and instructions second thing uh you need to complete all these item pending item jo 13 14 item se so just complete those uh that's the second item third action item is uh study you study this architecture diagram if you have any questions just write down questions and next time when we start our session i'll go to through the questions important questions uh, what you have face uh we can cover those and then uh, i think by the time we will have the snowflake so what going to have in a next call i'll just um, write here so next in the next session what we are going to use use vault with store we'll use the vault with the storage i will share this the instruction offline with you second thing what we are going to use use of airflow that i am going to show third thing in the next se session that we are going to use or do is uh, get show the sample data the data that we use i'm going to share the sample data with you and the last thing in the next session we are going to do or i will share this offline um, before the call two things i want to share this before next call this is the one i want to okay you will get this information before the next call um the sample data i'll share before the next call with you this is during next call and fourth and the last thing that we are going to do is show tdm uh, no not we got uh this tdd
TDD is called. Anybody know about TDD? No, sir. So TDD is a test-driven development. What it means? Uh, what is the test? Test. It, it is about the test coverage. Anybody heard about test coverage? No. no? Okay. So in the next session, uh, if you can do the homework about airflow and TDD, what is TDD and what is airflow? Because we are going to use this on our project. So just, and I'm going to share the sample data. Uh, it's okay if you don't see that data, sample data. Where I'm going to share, I'm going to share in the, everything that you will see is, will be shared in the Git, okay? Uh, and we can also use the wiki on the Git. Let me create the page there uh, so that home page. I'll just save this and we can create the different pages here. So this is the home page and I'll create a next page here. Okay, all the information you'll see, all the documentation, you'll see it here. So you have all two pages created here. You can see the uh, home and then you have about sample data. If there are hierarchy created in this page, you will see there. So everything will be in the Git, any documentation about the project, okay? So we will use Git as our documentation management as well, okay? Yes, sir. Okay, so let's meet next time and cover this point. Let me ping this to you on uh... Okay, so I just put it here. So I'm just writing the task for you. One is gather information about airflow. And I think I forgot one more uh, thing, which is snowflake features. the remaining features that are uh, there for Snowflake, we're going to study that as well. Okay, any other question? Now you can ask question, general question, not technical, like how much time it's going to take for project, uh, how much time it will take to study all the feature for Snowflake. Uh, do you have any other questions related to that? Hello, sir. Uh, yes. Can you please open this uh, flowchart diagram once? Okay. Uh, in this uh, EMR, we are uh, uh, mentioned here the EMR two times. Can uh -huh. you please elaborate this once again? Okay. So, what we are doing here, we are taking raw data and refined data. So, we are using clue job. Use kar rahe. Refined data, which is, uh, I would say, a clean data, proper format, may structure. May. So from there to transform, when we transform the data, we use EMR. Use so it is one-to-one. -one. Here, one-to-one -one meaning one uh, file, one table, will be made. One table, one uh, table will be made. So transform will be data. Uh, but 
when we this is our ddl dds detail data stores or a data lake this is our data lake but data lake se main jab data warehouse banana chahta hu tab aggregation hoga other rules honge uske liye bhi hum log emr use kar rahe can we use the other service we can use but uh, we have already covered the glue okay, we can also use the glue service for this can we use the snowflake yes we can also use the snowflake directly but in that case we have to load this data to snowflake and snowflake will be used to create a warehouse so yahan pe main i just use a emr and the reason is that i just want to keep the compute uh, not want to use the snowflake as a etl tool because if i have used then i have to use uh, other wrappers and other thing for that reason do you got the reason behind why we use emr two times it's just transforming data here from refine to transform and transform to data warehouse there are two steps that's why emr is being used two times yes sir okay any other question uh, so sir here uh, aws glue is also refining uh, transforming the data right now yeah we can also use glue or uh, here i just use glue because uh, two reasons is the small data coming and uh, it can just keep it serverless okay and trigger base okay any other question sir uh, would we be doing a uh, scd or data incremental incremental loading in this project yeah so we are going to do three types of data load one is full refresh uh, second is incremental and third is a delta where it's will do upsert upsert is update and insert Yes, and that will happen where it will happen in this step i mean from refine to transform and transform to warehouse in these steps it will happen all the three types of loads so uh, that's why i take the task to create the sample data once we get an hamara sample data kya rahega point of sale data inventory data product catalog data customer data uh, this will be our sample data and how many files how many how much data it will have i'll try to create uh, as much as data possible uh, maybe i don't know what's the limit for uh, github to put the data uh, i'll if there is a limit i will upload on s3 which you can download from s3 if the data is huge okay okay any other question what would be the duration of this project like generally in a mm -hmm. company or we can say how many days it would take to complete this project that's a good question if it's a project a actual project which is working in company it may so end to end like connection and this building a data lake it may take years and when i say years maybe meaning a two years because uh, imagine these all component all infrastructure the, the cloud engineer will be there cloud architect will be there data architect solution architect enterprise architect so it can be a two year project end to end uh, now for you how long this project and there are processes jaise ki arb rehta architecture review board maine ye architecture banaya but there must be some review by architecture board so uske liye time lagta hai so that time takes 
uh, it takes a lot of time there, budget and other thing. Now for us, for study for us, how much time it will take? It depend on your speed, how much time you took you take to complete this project. Uh, obviously, it should not be two years. Obviously, it should not be a six month. I I created the sample data. Most of the stuff I will help you. Uh, so I imagining uh, four weeks is a sufficient time to complete. Three to four weeks is sufficient time to reach a level where you can explain the project in interview. Okay. So yes, how many? Sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Sorry. Okay, just following you. Okay, so uh, now as we are going to split this work, so कोई लोग point of sales, inventory, product catalog पे काम करेंगे, कोई glue job. So intention here is to understand the project end to end. If you get it, well and good. So People, and we cannot stop कि हाँ मुझे ये project सब project पूरा समझना है मुझे सब करना है it will take time a lot of time for everyone so आपका speed matter करता है जितने जल्दी आप सीखोगे उतने जल्दी आपका resume बनेगा and उतने जल्दी आप place होगे uh, that's the optimal way so parallelly while we creating this working on the project we'll start uh, attending the interview, resume, and other thing that will also start. It doesn't mean that project stop ho jayega. You can keep working on that. You can keep asking me questions. You can keep asking many things to me that you face. You Whatever you learn from interview, you can go and review and add in the project if you want. It's not a time bound. It's not a scope bound. The reason is the objective is to get a job. Hello, sir. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, who designed this architecture? Means, uh, do we need to design by ourselves or there is a separate team for... Uh... Uh, yeah. So if you are going with experience, uh, you are showing experience for three years, you are not a designer or architect. Generally, solution architect who has 15 or 20 plus experience who designs this. So you are just an implementer. So don't worry about ki aapko ye design karna padega, ye, it is already he will explain you this architecture. So you just have to work on the as a developer or a data engineer, you just have to work on this one. Okay. But Thank you. Uh, solution architect ex expect karega ki you know EMR and you know to develop the jobs and other thing. That's what he will expect. Okay, thank you. Okay, we'll stop here and um, offline I'll keep you posted with the um, pending items. Okay. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thanks all. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Sir. Thank you, sir.